Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 6 before going ahead with part 7. Now that we have got some idea about what is simple harmonic motion, how is the displacement of a simple harmonic motion represented, how does the displacement vary with time, now let us look at the different terms which I introduced in the expression for displacement. I introduced few terms like amplitude, phase, phase constant. So let us have a look at that. So let us start with amplitude. Amplitude is nothing but the max magnitude of maximum displacement of the particle. We spoke about displacement so far. So what was displacement? Displacement was nothing but the amount of orientation or the angle which this particular mass makes with the vertical as it moves towards the extreme position. So that means the maximum displacement from the main position, because suppose this is its main position, this is the extreme position. So if you see here, this is the maximum displacement from the main position. So this displacement or this maximum displacement is referred to as amplitude. So that is the maximum displacement from the mean position is known as amplitude. It is denoted by capital A and you saw this in the expression for displacement where we wrote x is equal to A cos omega t so that A was nothing but amplitude. Now let us talk about phase quantity that determines the state of motion of the particle. As you can see here, only amplitude will not define the motion of this particle because it is not moving along a straight line. Since it is partly moving in a circular path where it is exhibiting some angle along the vertical, so this angle will also define the position of the particle. So the quantity other than this amplitude which determines the state of motion of the particle is known as phase. So that is why when we specify the position of the particle or the displacement of the particle, we say that x of t is equal to a cos omega t plus phi, right? So here a is the amplitude and this omega t plus phi is nothing but phase because this deals with the angular frequency plus the phase constant of the particle that is the state of motion where the particle is right now. So this phase is time dependent as you can clearly see from here that it is dependent on the small t. So what is phase constant? The value of phase at time t is equal to 0 is known as phase constant. So what is phase? Phase is omega t plus phi. Now at t is equal to 0, what will be the value of phase? This omega t will become 0. So we will be left with phi. So this phi is nothing but value of phase at t is equal to 0. That is phase constant always denotes the initial state of the particle. That means the state of the particle at that point from where you are considering the motion. Now just think of the derivation which we considered in the previous slide where we were plotting the graph for displacement with respect to time. At the start of it, I told that let us consider phi is equal to 0. So what did I mean by that? So what I meant was let us consider that at the initial time, that is at the extreme end when I am considering that the motion is starting, let us say that at that point of time the phase of the particle is 0. So that is why we considered phi is equal to 0. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.